Greeting dear friends, I present your attention to the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Kia Cerato. There are no particular problem with the mechanical part of the transmission. The CV joint resource is at least 160,000 km unless you accidentally break the boot. The absence of the hinge as a separate part in the catalogs for this model is not a problem. Everything fits from the Kia Soul and Elantra HD. There are many different gearboxes. Until 2011 it will be a 5-speed manual and a 4-speed automatic, after that 6-speed. Both manual gearboxes in two versions and automatic gearbox. All these are units of our own Korean production. 5-speed manual gearboxes are boxes of the M5CF1 or M5CF2 series. Occasionally there are cars equipped with other 5-speed transmissions. For example, on cars with 2.0 engines, M5BF2 from older Hyundai Kia models can be found, but in most cases this will be the result of a replacement after the breakdown of the original unit, if you are very afraid to put a 6-speed. I think numerous Solaris owners will support me if I say that the M5 CF1 2 is not the most successful family of boxes. This is exactly the case when the mechanics are weaker than the automatic transmission. Lightweight housing, short-lived bearing, oil temperature sensitivity and oil leaks are a lot of hassle after hundreds of thousands. The post-styling 6-speed units are the M6 CF1 for the 1.6 liter and the Stroner M6 CF3 1 for the 2 liter. For some reason it's believed that this series of gearboxes is more reliable. Although the body here is the same as that of a series of 5-speed gearboxes. However, there are indeed fewer failures. If it comes to repairs, it's quite possible to put a 6-speed gearbox instead of a folded 5-speed gearbox. No alterations are needed. If the gearbox is 4-speed, then with almost 100% probability it will be actually the Korean A4CF2, although I came across evidences that a slightly older A4BF2 was also seen on these machines. The units are extremely reliable, especially in contrast to the mechanics. The differences between the two variators from each other are minimal. The CF series boxes have a new valve body and solenoids that are more sensitive to pollution, but they are slightly improved mechanically. If the oil changes at intervals of 40 to 50,000 km, then the resource of the mechanical part of the box is at least 300 to 400,000 km. Unfortunately, even in this case, minor failures of the valve body solenoids and wear of the blocking lining of the gas turbine engine with runs over 150 are very likely, especially for CF1. Therefore, units with runs of the order of 200,000 are at risk. It will almost certainly require replacing the line pressure solenoid and possibly the wired RPM sensors. Fortunately, this is all inexpensive. If the owner neglected the repair of the gas turbine engine, that the valve body are managed to drive several tens of thousands of kilometers and dirty all, and the cost of repairs and their volume increased dramatically. You can ask the price of the direct drum, where of its splines is likely, the overdrive drum thrust bearing, brake band and bushings, the oil pump bushing gets especially hard. In the most advanced cases and as a rule with two liter engines, there are problems with the planetary gears. Sometimes the calculation shows that it's more profitable to buy a used machine, even taking into account the risk. The A6 GF1 6-speed automatic transmission is far from troublesome than the old gearboxes. Serato got the units of the very first release with a huge amount of childhood diseases. A full set of innovations in the form of a higher operating temperature, liar mechanics, a plastic sump and aggressive tuning of the control system and as a result accelerated oil contamination affected the mileage in the most negative way. The main problems are overheating and electronics failures. Loose wiring is often a problem, as in the oil temperature sensor. Solenoids wear out very quickly in case of increased oil contamination, and the applied new switching scheme makes them extremely susceptible to wear. The main candidates for overrun are, as before, the line pressure solenoid and the torque converter lockup solenoid, which works quite hard. When operating with dirty oil, expect all of the bouquet listed above in the description of 4-speed gearboxes, plus the likely wear of the Teflon rings, oil pump and so on. The average check for overhaul of a 6-step is noticeably higher than that of a 4-step. About 2000 euros against 560 hundred. Sometimes, if everything is really bad, it's easier again to buy a second-hand version from the more recent Serato, automatic transmission was seriously modified in 2013. Russian cars are equipped mainly with 1.6 J4 FC series motors and 2.0 G4 KD series motors. There are all sorts of exotic things like American 2.4 and European supercharged 1.6, 
but you most likely will never see them. Motors do not have any serious general problems with attachments. The supports are not too reliable, the catalysts are short-lived, and the quality of the electrical work in the engine compartment leaves much to be desired. I would like better sealing on the connectors and better rubber and plastics, but on the whole everything is quite decent. The 1.6 engine is the same as on the first Solaris in Rio. This is a version with one phase shifter as it was installed on folk cars before styling. The block is aluminum and the sleeves are cast iron. There is no elusil, it is checked, do not believe the garage man. Timing drive chain, phase shifter only on the intake shaft. At first glance the motor is very simple and should be reliable, but unfortunately there were enough problems. A relatively small timing resource of 120-150 thousand kilometers is not a problem. The chain changes inexpensively and the resource is quite stable. Sounds about problems in advance, 20-30 thousand before the jump with sad consequences. Another thing is that many do not hear the noise and believe the chain is eternal. In fact, it's sensitive to temperature, lubricant quality and level, all contamination and even the operation of the crankcase ventilation system. There are those who are lucky and whose chain has passed more than 250,000, but there are usual machines with long-range operation. In addition to a weak timing, piston group seizures also occur. Bold spots from a skirt with runs over 100,000 are common, and for many engines they turn into seizures with runs of 160 to 200,000 km. There are a lot of reasons. From catalyst wear, it's right in the exhaust manifold, dust easily reaches the cylinders, to the banal occurrence of piston rings with runs of more than 150,000 and an oil change interval ever 15. Initially, the situation was complicated by the fact that the motor doesn't provide for repair of dimensions. But at the moment, this problem has been solved. Good quality 1.5 pistons are on sale and they very cheap. The catalyst can be removed. This procedure with the subsequent flashing of the control unit has been mastered for a long time. This should be done proactively. It is also advisable to change the oil more often, once every 10,000, and in the way to regularly warm up the engine. It's most effective to do this on the move at low speeds before loading. The 2-liter J4KD is very similar to the larger 1.6. The design is the same. The aluminum block cast iron sleeves a timing chain. The chain resource, according to observations, is still slightly higher, under 200,000, but the piston is still as problematic as for 1.6, plus there is its own difficulties. In addition to the probable scuffing of the cylinder walls in the piston transfer zone, there is also clearly an insufficiently efficient oil pump here. Crankshaft scuffs occur. The, the, the risk of this increased several times when using low viscosity oils, for example 0W20. Trying to hear the problem motor is not worth it, it's better to do endoscopy. Alas, there are no problems, free motors from Serato in the assortment. On this information both the problems of Kia Serato 2 is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.